is still with us, uh, one of our reporters. He's outside LeBron's home in Bath Township. Uh, Bob, let's bring you into the conversation. What's the feeling out there? What are you hearing out there? Set the scene in Bath Township. Well, Leon, there is a lot of excitement. There are more and more cars coming through the neighborhood as the news, this breaking news that LeBron James is once again a Cleveland Cavalier. It is starting to spread. Cars are coming through the neighborhood. Some people are yelling at us, have you heard the news? They're honking their horns. It's very much an excited atmosphere out here in front of LeBron James's home. Not much activity. Uh, we've seen a couple of police cars, but we've seen a few cars coming down and here comes another Bath Township police officer coming down. They had uh, stepped up security today uh, from at least 11 until 11 in anticipation of this announcement. In fact, they thought it was coming yesterday. As late as 6 p.m., they thought the announcement was coming yesterday. And now they know the announcement has come, and LeBron James is a Cavalier. I am joined right now by a couple of high school girls. They've turned into entrepreneurs. I was interviewing them about a half hour ago. They had set up a lemonade stand, a dollar for a lemonade, 50 cents for a lemonade. Caroline Stocker, what is your reaction? You live in the neighborhood. LeBron's coming home. This is crazy. I'm really excited he's coming home. I think, <laughs> I think it's going to be awesome to have him back. Is this going to be good for business? More people going to come for the lemonade now? Hopefully you drive by LeBron's house, stop for a glass of lemonade. <laughs> Emily, is this what you expected? You seemed pretty optimistic earlier. Yeah, I, th I pretty much knew he was going to come home. I, we all wanted him to come home. I think it's good for all of us. It's a very positive thing. Were you worried at all as the week wore on? There was a lot of anticipation. A lot of people were nervous that he would not come back to here. He was going to stay in Miami. What was your thought as someone who lives in the neighborhood probably sees him every once in a while, right? Well, I pretty much thought he was going to come home, but if he didn't come home, I think yeah. maybe some people would be upset, but yeah. I don't know. I think it's okay. good that he came home, but I don't know how people in Miami will be <laughs> reacting right now. I don't know how that's going to work out there, but yeah. it's good here, so yeah. Okay, and uh, you guys are real excited. Are you anticipating that there's going to be a lot of people coming through here? <laughs> With that announcement, I bet there's, I mean, there's more already more so many cars, so I think there's going to it's going to get crazy really Probably fast like yesterday yeah all right well good luck with the lemonade stand thank today you. and thank you. thanks for taking the time thank to talk you. with us so no that, that's just a slice of what's going out here in front of lebron james's mansion here in bath township again a lot of excitement and i'm anticipating that a lot more people in cabs uniforms <laughs> or shirts are going to come down here and and celebrate in fact someone just went by and screamed go cabs so clearly the word is spreading Coming home, somebody just yelled. I, I think we're going to be getting a lot of that, Leon. <laughs> I think so. It, remi it reminds me of the old song about just being on the street where you live, just being on the sidewalk where LeBron walks. I think that's pretty much the feeling out there. Bob Jones handling that part of the story for us. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate your report, and thank the two young women there who are standing on the street corner there with you, uh, standing on the sidewalk there with you. Thank you, Bob Jones. Let's get